Hello everyone, and welcome to l l Diamond Painting. My name's Lee. And my name is Lenore. A sore Lenore, but a Lenore nonetheless. I hope everyone is doing well. It has been an eventful week, to say the least. Um, lots going on. And I can't find... How the hell did that get... Alright, it helps if I have the magnets on the right side. Okay. Somehow or other, the magnet came from underneath the... Diamond painting, and I don't know how. And of course, what do I have to do? After I get it all set up, I have to move... While he's doing that, I have some good news for my sister-in-law. Yes. She got the, the report from the lab um, at the hospital today. She's cancer-free. She doesn't even think they're going to do any um, cancer. They're not doing like I had um, radiation and stuff like that. I don't know if they're going to do anything else. But they said she's 100% cancer-free. She called me today. She's like... A kid in a candy store. She just got the best present she could ever have. And uh, I'm so happy for her. She's a really good person. Yes, she is. Now, um, don't know if you can see that or not. Because I, the way my, I have my camera. But that is a cover minder sent to me by... Brenda, Mama B Diamond Drilling. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, my 911 pin yep. that I always have somewhere around me. In September. Yeah. Um, usually I wear it for about two weeks. But I, uh, that was also when I was working every day. And, you know, wearing it on a t shirt just isn't the same. So, it's a little more uncomfortable because it rubs against the skin, the backing. Anyway, uh, just to give you a little bit more good news, because that's the way we roll. My brother's foot is doing much better. It's actually starting to heal. Um, so, I want to thank everybody. Because I know most of you, if not all, have either been sending positive vibes, positive thoughts, prayers, and such. And I want to thank you all for that. Uh, but I also want to ask you to keep going. Mm -hmm. Because my doctor, I went to my foot doctor. A little over a week ago. And it seems I have to have an operation, not on one foot, but on both feet. Um, not sure quite yet uh, if it's going to be a two for one. Or if it's going to be one foot at a time. I'm shooting for the possibility that it's going to be one at a time. After all, like most hospitals, they want to keep you out as long as possible. Or as quick as possible, I should say. So therefore, I'm, I'm assuming probably just one at a time. We'll wait until this one, heal, one heals, and then we will do the next one. I'm supposed to hear from the uh, surgery coordinator... Um, sometime before the 24th, but so far, I have not. So I'm not sure exactly when that will be. So your continued thoughts and prayers and so on would be greatly appreciated. At least on my end. <laughs> I don't know about Lenore. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for 
the news that is the news. <laughs> yeah, even though we don't print. Um, we don't have a lot of comments. We have actually two comments from two separate lives. Apparently not a lot of people watch the replay or they're away on vacations or whatever the case may be. So our script is kind of thin. You could say that. I just did. Yeah, I know. Of course you did. Of course I did, yes. Do you want me to stop? Yes, me? I do. All right. The first one comes from KC, that's me. And she just said, and enjoyed your video with a heart, which we love. That's all that's necessary. We know that um, she watched it and she loved it. That's all that matters to us. Yep. The, the, well, the most important thing is the fact that... Um, you love it. You, you watched it. Was that the, um, That's how many days ago? That was that was eight days ago that one was given, which was our actual whipping chat. Okay. The next one that was a single is uh, from, I believe, the opening of the event, which I will get into in a little bit. This is from... Diamond Nana. Nana. Yes. Sorry, I couldn't be in your live. I'm watching replay. <laughs> well, Nana, that's quite all right. Um, obviously, we would have loved to have you at the live. Mm -hmm. uh, lives are a lot more fun with people there. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot more fun for the people when they're there rather than having to um, wait and comment and you know, not be part of the shenanigans, as everybody seems to call them. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you were on Tammy's live with her newly found blow-up boyfriend, Chad. Oh, please. And her little makeshift cruise ship. <laughs> All compliments of Berta, of course. <laughs> Who else? But, um, yeah, that was a fun one. That was really fun. Oh, that one's no good. <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> the next one is from Chocolate Diamonds. Okie dokie. guys. I enjoyed the whip. Thank you for your service, Lee. I'm a vet as well. I was in the Army, actually. I come from a family of service. My father, several of my uncles, my son, my husband, and his two sisters. Wow. Praying for Lenore, Lenore's sister surgery, sending healing prayers. Well, as you heard our first comment, I hope, or you will hear it, Chocolate Diamonds. Um, she, um, she got such good news. She's on in seventh heaven, and so are we. And uh, have no fear, you will be hearing it again because I'm sure she will be saying it on the live. Of course I will. You know, so it will be broadcast again. And thank you for your healing prayers because everything that's sent with love works. Well, that's my way of thinking. So what's up? Next one comes from Laurie. Okay. Hi, Lee and Lenore. Thank you as always for your whip and chat. Love listening to you. Have a great weekend. Bye with a heart. Bye. <laughs> Hi. We love your comments too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So kind. Yes. Trin is up next. Good chat. Sending healing vibes your way, Lenore. Take care. <clears throat> They're sending ten, sending healing vibes and things because I've been feeling great. My throat is still all froggy. Um, Although it is much better than it used to be. Well, I don't know about that. But something like today is not a good day, it seems. And um, I'll take all I can get. Believe me. Believe me. Oh, of course not. Today is not a good day. Today's Thursday. So 
it's not a good day about Thursday. Because we have the Uncrafty Crafter going live tonight. At oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And you miss... Well, don't say sorry. I mean, you know, you miss oh. doing that just as much as anybody else. I do. So... But anyway, um, nonetheless, she is getting better. Just slower than we would like. Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were going to add something. Nope. Next one comes from Judith. Hope you feel better soon, Lenore. It would be wonderful if the neti pot helps you. It has a little bit of, learn of a learning curve, but brings me relief for sure. I can still close my eyes. And so many images of 9-11 are so vividly in my memory. Prayers sent for Lenore's sister. Listen to your videos. Listening to your videos is a pleasant part of my day. Thank you, Judith. Um, you will hear this. My sister, it's my sister-in-law, but she's really my sister. Um, she's got such good news. She's jumping around and... She, she couldn't stop. I could see her smiling through the phone when she was telling me. Oh. Always a good thing. Yes. Happy little drills. I always enjoy your wicked chats. You guys make make me company while I dine and paint. Luna, please rest, and I pray that you feel better soon. Thank you. She said two hearts. Two hearts. Yay. <laughs> You're going to start a competition. <laughs> well, Judas sent three. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They like us. They really, really like us. <laughs> and if you can tell me where that's from, you get bonus points. Nothing else, but you get bragging rights. I know what it is from. Huh? I know what it's from. I know. I'm not going to say it, though. No. I want to see if anybody comments on it and <laughs> sees where it's yep. from. Yep. Everybody's going to look on the internet now. Eh, let me Google this. And who said it? Um, you just had happy little drills. Oh, I know. Well, hold on a minute. Let me put this down. Wait a minute, I have to ask him a question. Robin. Oh, Robin. Don't worry about the screen name on that one. Okay, thank you. Hey, Robin. Hey there, I enjoyed your whipping chat. Feel better, Lenore, and prayers for your sister-in-law. Hoping all going goes well and sending healing thoughts and prayers to both of you have a great week see you around the tube robin <laughs> the youtube yeah well those requests seem to have worked because everybody sent them yeah i told you i know i know we have a hell of a community even if sure you know do. now and then you get well there's bumps in the road for everything you know this she and is through. Last but certainly not least comes from Timothy. Almost forgot to get my question in. Better late than never. Well, I, don't know. I always enjoy your whipping chats. They're one of my favorite videos to watch, and you're both one of my favorite creators to watch. I don't know what I'd do without you. I love you both so very much. And you know what? We love you too, Miss Tammy. The question should be in there. It is. I was just going to read it. I was just telling her. Okay. You just hold your horses, Blossom. I don't have any horses to hold. <laughs> well, that's right. They're cows. <laughs> More like pigs. Oh. Question of the week. Well, both of you, she puts both in capital letters. Do you find it more difficult to apologize or to accept apologies? Ooh. For me, that depends. Sometimes I find it harder to apologize 
because there are times when it's appropriate to apologize, even though you may not believe you should be the one to apologize, which I have come across a lot lately. Um, and then there are times when the apology means nothing to me. So therefore it's kind of hard to accept the apology even though I might for the sake of keeping the peace so to speak accept said apologies. I don't know. I may fail Tammy on this one. Because it's like it's like Lee says, it depends on the situation. Um, well, the problem with you is you you apologize at the drop of a hat. Oh, shut up. Keep your comments to yourself. This is my question. You already answered yours. I didn't say it was an answer. Just be quiet. <laughs> Make me. No, thank you. Because <clears throat> you know um, you can't. It, depend, it depends on the situation. I'm going to hit you. The situation and the person. If it's a person I love, and I have to phrase this like that, um, and I think I did something wrong, Lisa, I always apologize because I, I don't want to hurt anybody I love. And if the person who's giving me an apology is someone I love, it's much easier to accept it. But if it's someone that I feel has wronged me a lot, and has wronged me, period. I have a hard time saying I apologize because I will believe that it's that other person's fault. And then I get mad, which you never want to see me get mad because it may take seven years for it to happen. It's like my mo I'm like my mother that way. But boy, but boy, when it happens, you don't want to be anyways near me. So. But I try, like Lee says, if it'll keep the water smooth, so to speak. I'll accept an apology if I feel like it's necessary. I hope, Tammy, that that answers your question, because I can't other than that. And no, we didn't steal each other's answers. It's just how we both feel. Correct? That's what I say. You can't be married to 31 <laughs> to someone over 30 years and not have similar um, ideologies. Thank you, and, and answers to questions because it, you, you just can't do it. You've already discussed everything under the sun. And some things that are not under the sun. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Some things are under the sheets. <laughs> I do this a lot with him, people. And after all these years, I should be used to it. Apparently, I'm not. Apparently, not so much. Not so much. But. Now, as you can see, I am still working. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, before I do that, are we done with comments? Or was that the, the last comments, one or what? That was the last one. That was the last comment. Well, as I was going to say then, as you can see, I am still working on my September 11th. Uh, it is only the 18th. So we've still got 12 days. Yeah, about 12 days to go. Um, it is still up. There is no limit. I'm going to be keeping the Facebook page up even when the event is over <coughs> excuse me uh, and then of course like i said before and like i said during the live i do have uh, thoughts of having um sponsors and gifts and giveaways and all that stuff next year i've already got a few people that have asked about uh, sponsoring, or have offered to sponsor, I should say. 
very gracious of them. Yes, and I will be talking to them further on uh, the time. There are also some other events coming up. Unfortunately, I have a memory like Swiss cheese. So I don't remember them. I know there's um, Small Shop Fall Festival. I know that there's one that in March that Ditsy and Shay are going to co-host with one another. Uh, I know there's another one later on in the year that Ditsy also does. They do a lot, those two. Um, and I believe there's one, uh, a, a uh, for uh, another one for Randall. I think they they do two a year, Brandy and um, Kara, the principal painter. Don't quote me on it because I'm not positive. But nonetheless, they are. Uh, there are those. You should have let me know. Your trusty secretary would have written them down for you. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, exactly, and that's what I should start doing. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is I leave a pad of paper hanging around, mm -hmm. so I can write down such things. Do I write them? No. And do I forget? Do I remember to write them down? No. Do I remember where the pad of paper is? Not half the time. <laughs> you can't help it. He's getting a little senile. <laughs> getting? <laughs> it's the pot calling the kettle black. I have been senile all of my life. No, I um, you know, not senile. Sorry about that. I gotta take a drink. And no, I don't have my normal do. Because I drank all my dew. So I am relegated to my wife's Pepsi. Luckily, she is nice enough to share that with me. <laughs> That's me. What I have is yours. What you have is yours. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours is mine, and what's mine's my own, huh? That's correct. That'll work. <coughs> As I crack my voice here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll work. So I hope everybody's been doing well. And yes. If you haven't been, please let us know so that we can send prayers and thoughts. Because you're all so good at doing that, that uh, we'd like to return. I'm not that I want you to be in have problems, but if you are, please. Because we really do care. Speak for yourself. Okay. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. Yeah, that would be me. I can think of another name for you. <laughs> I don't know why. Peanut brittle. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, every name so far you've come up with mm -hmm. has been forgotten. <laughs> well, a couple of them were remembered. Yeah, for about a week. Yeah. Which is fine with me. <laughs> they do not need to be remembered. <laughs> they can be lost to the, lost to the winds. Yep. Because yeah, you do true. come up with some real doozies. Hey, that's my job, man. Come up with real doozies. Uh-huh. You see what happens to us when you don't send us comments? <laughs> yeah, we sit here and go, duh. <laughs> what do we talk about now? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. No, we don't know. This is pathetic. As I sit here and drop drills all over the place. This um, picture's really coming out nice. And next week I will probably be doing it. So that's if he trusts me to do it because I wouldn't trust me. I don't know. <laughs> I know, you should do it yourself because you're doing it so nicely. I 
Oh, it just looks that way from a distance. Mm, it doesn't. I've seen it up close. It doesn't look anything like mine. Where is my voice gone? I have no idea. Why is it gone? <clears throat> I don't know that either. You're supposed to know. You're supposed to know everything. Uh, I'm using, by the way... In these leopard leatherworks pens, I gotta change pens out too at some point. Mm -hmm. I've got a few of them. Yeah, but you love that. You know, but the black and yellow one is my second favorite. My first one, of course, is the hybrid uh, brown and yellow one. That one right in front of you. Yeah. That one right there. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, it's a very nice pen. Tim does good work. Yes, he does. That would be this one right here. I like this especially because there is black in it, and yellow, and brown, both dark and light. Tim really did it. And that, um, to me symbolizes obviously it's not you know a true representation but it still symbolizes my favorite bird which is a bald eagle um beautiful creatures yeah there's a youtube channel i watched that is one of their nests that during nesting season they're on all the time out in Big Bear Lake in California. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's another one I want to try too from, uh, I can never remember the name of the shop and I know it too, damn it. Um, and everybody's going to pick on me because I can, I can, it's, it's the company that does the, Roll stops. And I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Well, I can't think of it off the bottom of my head either. <laughs> I just can't think of it. I told you I got a, I got a memory like Swiss cheese. You know? Here, I'll tell him, you know, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning what he's going to have for supper or something. And by 11.30 I'm saying, <laughs> what are you saying that we have, we're having for supper? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Yep. I'll be right back. Yep. I'll be right back, people. She shall return. I don't think the mics are sprung enough to pick her up from the kitchen. Hopefully not, because if she if she burns herself, she's gonna swear. Hey. And what you hear the crinkling of is one of the waxes that. Uh, was sent to me by uh, Laura, Anxiety Art Adventures. As you can see, I'm using it. Um, part of her Wee Wax, sort of, kind of. Not the actual tin of Wee Wax, obviously. But, um, nonetheless, and it is really good stuff. I'm still on that learning curve of just how to deal with it and use it and put it in a pen and all of that. But nonetheless, um, it is really, really good. I really like it. And I will try to remember to link both her YouTube page and her studio, her, her store, in the description below, if I can remember to do so. Alright, I'm back. I did burn supper. 
Well, not only did you not burn separate, but you didn't burn you. I didn't burn me either, no. That's the important part. That's very important. It's a good thing I said something, because I completely forgot it. You think you're bad. You spent, what, an hour making that stuff? Yep. She made chicken pot pie from scratch. Well, I didn't pluck the chickens. No, but... <laughs> I mean, let's not get... Super ridiculous here. Oh, well, I you know. We were. Well, essentially we are, but yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I don't have a strong memory for stuff. You know, so I will try to remember to look to link Laura's. And Leopard Leather Works yes. in the description below. You've probably all heard that Tim made a pen and pencil set <clears throat> for me. It is so beautiful. It's my favorite color purple with swirls of white in it. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So if you're wondering what to gift anybody at any given time, and they're, you know, they're into writing and they like nice pens, and pencils. Think, don't you know? Think about that because it's really great. Yeah, one of the pen kits that he uses is a premium kit from uh, Parker. Yeah, the beautiful pens. And Parker has always made. Uh, yeah, great what writing implements. Writing, great writing implements. Uh, I'm sorry. And I don't mean. Spider-Man Parker, <laughs> and I don't mean Lieutenant Parker from Mikhail's Navy, yeah. but nonetheless, they are, like, he's, like I just said, they are great pens, and he does a very good job at uh, making said blanks into... Beautiful pen and pencil sets. Yep. What did I do? There it is. I'm telling you, I don't even remember where I put things. I went looking for the funnel that I use to pour the drills back in the container. Um, and it was sitting right in front of me. You know, to the point where if it was any closer to where I was sitting, <laughs> it would have bit me. Bite or the no, but I'm sure that, I'm sure it would have <laughs> had it been able to. But yes, there is always that. And by the way, I'm not going to do it right this second. But last week I messed up, and I promised everybody that I was going to show you. My eagle. Oh, that's right too. My uh, that was that was um, made for me. Mom had somebody had commissioned an artist to make the eagle. Um. So let me see if I can do this without making everybody seasick. Yeah. There it is. Hopefully you'll see it okay. And on top of that, yes, I'm putting my hand in front of the lens so you don't see the rest of the mess of a house, is an, a wolf, Adam, you'll like this, that was also made, hand, these are handmade by the way, these are not machine made, uh, by an artist that um, made the wolf for my brother. Now let's see if I can get this back into position without screwing everything up. Yeah, it would be. And guess what I can't do? Oh, there we go. Yay, I did it. If there's something anyone out there would like us to talk about, not you know, questions, but would like us to talk about it, 
subject. To now, if you want to hear our opinions on anything, I think is what you're saying, right? Yeah. If you'd like to hear our opinions on anything that is not political or <laughs> religious. Oh, come on. You're spoiling my fun. <laughs> because if it is political or religious, I will walk away. He won't walk away. He'll run away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even talk to him about that. Yeah, there is that. I do have my definite opinions. Uh, they are not ones that are appropriate for mixed company, shall we say. <laughs> um, 27. 27, right there. Uh, they are not appropriate for mixed company, shall we say, is where I was getting at. Um, but I tend to get highly charged <laughs> to the point where I start losing my temper. Mm -hmm. Not because of the conversation but because of the stupidity of the subject. Uh, so, there is that. There is. Um, but yes, by all means, let us know, and I can give you my promise that Lenore will remember to write these things down off of our comments. I mean, I'll have them printed up anyway, so it's not like they will be disappearing off into the netherworld here. But nonetheless, it'll give us topics of conversation. We will be at some point in time. I keep promising this, but so far I haven't done it. Um, but we will be... Um, doing some sort of game because there are those of you that have, have expressed the uh, interest in uh, seeing us play games or, or do some sort of would you rather type of thing. Mm -hmm. I particularly do not like the would you rather games. You know, um, as far as me doing them, they're funny to listen to other people do them. <laughs> Ditsy and Paul do them all the time at the end of their whipping chats, and they are absolutely hilarious. But for some reason or other, when I do them, it's just, they just seem stupid. <laughs> Don't ask me why. It can be funny with somebody else, and for me, they're stupid, but because I can't tell you. Um, but nonetheless, they are, but we, I will, I, I promise at some point in time, uh, we will get something done. Yeah. Just don't know what, don't know when. Sorry for that. When we find something. <laughs> yeah. But that means we both have to go into a store to look, and he does. Uh, excuse me. What? What the hell is this going into the store thing all about? I don't know. You know, haven't you ever heard of the internet? Yes, I've heard of the internet, but I like to see what I'm buying most of the time. I mean, touch what I'm buying most of the time. But you can, you can, you can always do the internet. Touchy, touchy. Touchy, touchy. Nutty, nutty. Who, me? Mm-hmm. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That would be true. I'm just cuckoo. That would be true, too. Cuckoo, cuckoo. This is getting rather silly. <laughs> nah, not really. No? No, not really. Okay, it's saying? just getting kind of, okay, what do we talk about next? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to end the whipping chat. I mean, it's been a while. It's been 40 minutes, but still. 
I don't want to end the whipping chat because if I end, end the whipping chat, I'm going to sit there and realize that my back is sore or something, and I'm going to end up not wanting to do any more diamond painting, and I'm so close to the end. <laughs> so close. That much. Not much to go. I want to do it. Damn it. I want to do it. 26. Was why 26? Oh, here's a question. Why was 26? You. What's that? What, what is some of you doing for diamond paintings? What are you doing, working on? Oh, what yes. What are your whips? Yeah, I was just going to say that. You have to open your mouth all the time. What are your whips? Let us know. Keep in mind that once we are done with our individual diamond paintings, we buy as we go, okay? So we're not like some of you who have stashes. I have this one and then Angel Falls, which I stopped working on to do this one. And then she has Love is Blind that she's working on. And then... Another kit, I can't show it because I can't get it underneath the I camera. I, oh. Never mind sticking your tongue out at me. It's not going to work. Um, she's over here. Tell them, just tell them what it is. It's called Halloween Cat. It's another round. Um, she's finding that she doesn't like rounds very much, but it is another round and it's a quite a bit bigger than the one she's working on with love is blind but nonetheless um i don't know if it's going to fit on that mm, there is that um but uh at any rate so we'd be interested in knowing what you're working on at some point and see if we find out anything that we might like i personally um, like the small shops, mm -hmm. not for, well, there's a lot of reasons why, but, you know, primarily I like to support small business. Yep. After all, quite frankly, small business is what this country was founded on. Founded on. Yes, I couldn't think of the right <laughs> word, founded. I'm sorry, I hate that I do know? that. No, no, I couldn't think of the right word, so I appreciate it. Um, but, uh, and yes, we do sometimes finish each other's sentences anyway. It's just one of the pitfalls. You don't get to finish your own sentence or finish your own thoughts. The joys of married life. Hey. But yeah, it is what this country was founded on. And I tend to appreciate the smaller businesses. Don't get me wrong. Bigger businesses have their place, and you can get some really good stuff because they have the machinery and the experience and, you know, the, the employees and all of that good stuff. But it is just much better from a standpoint of this was created by... Our minds, our two hands, or four hands, depending. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And that's what I tend to gravitate towards, so... You know, grant you, with our budget, we cannot do as much supporting of small shops as we would like. But... Um, Nonetheless, you know, so we do have to go with budget, but even budget stores like Make Market for Wal Walmart and, uh, you know, places like that, even though they're a big company, uh, at least they are supporting the artists. A lot of them are licensed artwork. From what I have been told, I have not looked at a Make Market kit, so I don't know for sure what the status is, but I do believe that they are paid. Their artists are paid. Um, 
But that's what I go for as far as, that's about as much as I'll go for with diamond paintings and diamond painting accessories is the, for, for a bigger store would be something that's a budget because I have no choice. Uh, other than that, um, feel free to let us know whatever it is. Even if it is Diamond Art Club or, you know, a big, a major company for diamond painting. We'd still like to know. And, hopefully, um, we'll be able to somehow or other be able to look it up and, you know, take a look at what you got somehow. Whether it be on Facebook or somebody else's uh, Discord or Instagram or whatever the case may be. You know, let us know what you're working on, what you're working with. You know, what your opinions are on small businesses and... You know, what the customer service is like in your experience. Um, I'd like to hear that myself. Uh, as I sit here, I'm get so concentrating on diamond painting now that I'm just... My mind is going drawing blanks on what I want to say. Yeah, we all know about shooting blanks. Get your mind out of the gutter. I was talking about guns. <laughs> you were. I know you too well. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Not me. Yeah. Nope, sweet, pure, and innocent. That's me. Mm. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I'm sweet. Anybody can tell you. I'm the epitome of decorum and class, and I would never talk about any such thing. Of course you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, even I can't say that with a straight face. Sorry. <laughs> I don't say I live in the sewer for nothing. Oh, stop that. Well, it's true. My brain would... Always in the sewer. I don't bother with the gutter that's too high up. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on now. Who are you talking to? I don't know. Yeah, me. Oh, you. Who are you? Oh, no. What am I seeing? <laughs> I'm, your, I'm, I'm your worst nightmare if you weren't not careful. Ooh. That's not very nice. Uh, well, how are you coming there, mister? I'm actually coming pretty good, but I think, unfortunately... You're back. No, I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put this whip and chat to bed. Yeah. <laughs> because I know there's something else I wanted to mention. You can't remember. And something else I wanted to talk about real quick. I do want to thank everybody, actually, now that I think of it, that showed up and actually stayed at the live this last week. I went on a bit of a rant. A bit? Just a small one. It wasn't that long. No? No, because I could have taken up the entire hour. I had a lot to say. Mm -hmm. But thankfully... My wife sitting next to me told me, just by sitting next to me, that I can't do that. You know, keep in mind who we are as diamond painters, what our goals are, what our thoughts are, is basically what it all boiled down to in the life. And I do want to thank everybody for their statements. 
the few that have made statements so far, that is, um, and for their words of encouragement for me. It's nice to know that I can go on a rant every now and then and not be walked out on. You know? So I'm going to finish this painting off off screen. What you said on your rant made sense. So. Well, I try to make sense anyway, but yeah. you know, I also don't like to have uber serious conversations on on lives and, and whatnot and because it gets boring. Yeah. You know? Oh my god, is he gonna talk about that again? You know? I know. What do I wanna hear that for? It's true. You know, what do I wanna watch this for over and over and over? It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> Is it that or even worse, watching grass grow. Ooh. Well, at least with grass, if it's a, if it's a good layer of grass, you can lay in it and relax. Just got to watch out for the bugs that crawl all over you. <laughs> at least here in Florida. Oh yeah. You know. I wouldn't sit in grass in Florida. I'm sorry. <laughs> Become a lounger for a gecko. Yeah. So anyway, other than that. I will say to everyone, have a wonderful time. Thank you for joining this whip and chat. Um, no, I'm not done. I just have to take that off for a minute. Uh, my headset for my glasses. Anyway, um, thank you for joining the whip and chat. Keep in mind, we are here to support one another, not knock one another down. Words, as my wife say, can wife wife says speaking English would be a good thing words can hurt words can scar worse than a knife uh, and last the scars last a lot longer and go a lot deeper um, the good part the good side of that is they can also heal and help so if you're going to do anything try to heal and help not hurt and scar and on that note, I will say have a wonderful week, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful life. And I don't mean that in the Christmas movie sense. <laughs> Would you like to say anything, my dear? No, well, I think you've said it all except goodbye. Okay. In that case, goodbye, sleep tight. <laughs>